uh, Michael Jones Variety here with uh, Dan Meyer, who has his film The Objective here at Tribeca. Give us, uh, tell us what the objective. Ugh. Tell us what the objective is about. Well, it starts off um, about uh, it's a group of special forces guys in Afghanistan that are led by this CIA operative um, by the name of Ben Keynes, and um, he tells them they are on this mission to find this cleric in in uh, this village in Afghanistan, and you soon find out that he has a different agenda, and uh, he's on this search for um, something you know, much more ominous. And so, as time goes on. Uh, things start happening, supernatural stuff start happening to the guys. So, and they quickly realize that they just aren't trained to deal with what it is they're facing. Yeah, and you're one of the co-directors of the Blair Witch Project, correct? With yep. um, that collective called Haxon, mm -hmm. which is is Haxon still around? Or? Yeah, Haxon's still around. Uh -huh. um, the guys just uh, actually shot a movie in uh, Hong Kong mm -hmm. called Seventh Moon, and they're posting it right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they're still doing the thing. You know, I remember when I was working at um, Filmmaker Magazine. We, I was good friends with Mike Manello, yeah. who um, left Florida Film Festival to join to work with you guys on Blair Witch Project. Yep, yep. Mike was at the screening last night. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to mm -hmm. see him. Well, he uh, he sent me um, the Blair Witch Project before Sundance, before anybody kind of had seen anything oh, from cool. it. Yeah. And um, kept bugging me to to watch it, mm -hmm. and I just was putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and finally, like you know. I put it in at 12 o'clock at midnight. Me and my wife sat down. I said, I'm just going to watch a little bit of it. And, right. You know, then I'll maybe finish it tomorrow. And I didn't sleep for three days. <laughs> it scared the shit out yeah. of me. Yeah, well, And I want those three days back. Well, you know, uh, I don't know if you can equate that to cash or something. I could just pay you <laughs> off or something. That'll work. Uh, cool. Yeah, right. that'll be fine. Um, so did you talk about kind of, uh, it seems like... Um, the objective has sim very similar themes to Blurge Project in that it's a group of people, um, you know, going toward a destination, whether they're lost or not, and how they unravel as they get closer and closer and closer to it. Is that kind of a theme or a horror film thing that you like? Or well, it's 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 got some parallels. There's definitely, I think, a lot of horror films or psychological thrillers, or whatever you want to call them, um, you know, kind of revolve around that phenomenon. People kind of getting into a situation um, that. Uh, they're not prepared for and things start to fall apart so this is no different in that respect but um, I think the big difference one of the big differences is you know the the stylistic approach to the film is a lot different um, it's kind of taking place within a kind of contemporary backdrop in Afghanistan and in the war in Afghanistan um, and uh, and it's not really a horror film I think Blair probably skewed a little bit more in that direction where this is you know a lot more of a kind of a sci-fi thriller or psychological thriller if you will so it's a little bit different genre skew I guess than, than Blair which was but what there are similarities you to write it? well really it started I mean I had always wanted to do a kind of a, a thriller in the desert for whatever reason you know it's kind of the opposite of the woods so I thought uh, it had a, a kind of an interesting potential there and then um, over the years just seeing all this footage come through on the internet with guys kind of videotaping there are exploits in Iraq and in Afghanistan, and there's just thousands of videos of night vision, you know, search and destroy missions and things like that. And, and uh, so the two kind of coexisted in my head for a long time. And then one day they just kind of, I don't know what happened, but they just kind of blended together and said, it'd be cool to do kind of a thriller in the desert um, that takes place within the Afghan conflict. And that's an area of the world that has a lot of superstition, you know, um, a lot of spirituality, and uh, so Did it was you good. Research in some of those things. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, uh, there's there's just a lot of, um, you know, uh, superstition in that area about, uh, you know, areas of of the mountains there, and I think it's kind of plays to a lot of, a lot of neurosis we have as as individuals. I mean, everything from the Devil's Triangle to UFOs to Bigfoot, we all you know, have this need for this kind of thing to exist. So I think the like objective... In search thing, of. Absolutely, uh, yeah. That's, more, absolutely. Know. And um, so that kind of stuff, I think, is, is fascinating to me. And, um, and how, it, how uh, you know, we as individuals, um, you know, really respond to that. And so the objective kind of plays on a little bit of that and, and in a way kind of questions like, you know, what is, you know, one man's religious experience is another man's abduction, you know, and... So it's it kind of leaves an open-ended question, you know, with that. So, 
Talk about how the production came together. You wrote the script. Where did you get the financing? How did that all fall into place? Well, originally I had a just a, like a one-page treatment that uh, kind of was an overview of the, of the general idea and concept. And uh, a mutual friend uh, of of jazz films who was Richard or uh, Richard Halpern introduced me to these two guys, Jeremy Wall and Zev Guber. They were the producers of the movie. He uh, gave them that treatment. They really liked it, and they said, you know, we'd like to option this from you and go raise the money for it. And I said, well, sure. And it's just, you know, one of several ideas that's kind of sitting around and, and uh, you know, see what you can do. And, and before I knew it, they said, yeah, we've got, we've got some cash for this thing to make it happen. And I was doing a couple other films at the time. I said, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as things kind of settle for me, I would, I'd love to, you know, jump on the script. And, and uh, my writing partner, Mark Patton, um, and I kind of penciled out a, an outline, and um, and then our other writing partner Wesley Clark Jr., who's the son of General Wesley Clark, kind of came in and gave us like a lot of you know really good scenes, and and uh, and I needed someone that knew military jargon and that area of Afghanistan. He was familiar with it, so he, he brought in a lot of expertise in that res regard. So it's a big collaborative effort, but it just started out really just on the web and seeing those videos on the web, you know. Well, Dan. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, it's great to a have pleasure. You. Yeah. It's good to be here.